time to go over the setup round for Brioche Honeycomb Two Colors Knit Stitch. Uh, we currently have two rows of two by one rib on our needles, and I am about to show you how you get ready for your first row in the honeycomb with your contrast color. So for this row, we're gonna stick with our main color, which is what we have right here. You're going to knit your first stitch. Easy enough. Bring your yarn to the front of your work. And with your yarn in the front, you're gonna slip your next stitch. And then we're going to yarn over so we can knit our next stitch. So basically, the combo of bringing your yarn to your front and then knitting the stitch afterwards completes the yarn over for you. Okay, so then we'll bring forward again, slip, yarn over and knit one. And that gives us our yarn overs in main color on every other stitch. And you're just going to finish, do that all the way to the end of the round. So, simple enough. Yarn forward, slip. Knit one. completed a first full four rounds in this stitch which gives you a completed honeycomb basically um, so you can see what it looks like this starts with a two by one rib with a setup round and then you begin the four rounds with the contrasting and main color so for round one, we use a contrasting color, which will be in the front of your project. And simply put, you're gonna slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl, a main color stitch with its contrasting color yarn over. Okay. So slip, Yarn over, brioche pearl. Brioche pearl sounds scary, but you really just are doing a pearl stitch into a knit stitch, as well as its accompanying yarn over, which in this case is in a different color. So we'll go all the way around.
with the last slip one, yarn over, and we'll slip our beginning of the round marker. I'm going to drop the contrasting color and pick up our main color yarn, which is in the back of our work. And this one's even easier. All we're going to do is knit one stitch in our main color, slip the yarn over from last round, and knit the next stitch. Okay, knit one. Slip the yarn over. Knit one. Slip the yarn over. Knit one. Really, really easy. That's round two in your four round repeat. Last one is a knit one, slip the yarn over, and that's round two. Okay, again, we're gonna drop main color, pick our contrast color back up from the front of our work, slip our stitch marker, and now we begin round three. Round three is very similar to round one. All we're gonna do is begin with our brioche pearl instead of our slip one yarn over. So, yarn in the front, brioche pearl the knit stitch with its yarn over, slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. Knit 
this this stitch. So that's two for round four. So the yarn over. Okay. So knit two and slip the yarn over with that second knit stitch. Knit two, slip the yarn over, and that'll be our final round. And then for the final round, once you get to the end, that last stitch is going to be a knit stitch. Just as we started with a knit stitch. Easy peasy. Okay, so we've just finished our fourth round in the honeycomb. Um, but before we can begin our ribbing, we need to take care of these contrast color floats. So all we're going to do is we are going to do a knit round with the main color. And knitting our contrast color floats right along with their matching stitch. We're just going to go all the way around. Nice and simple. So, basically, this should, because we ended on round four, we're going to still have our nice little V from the honeycomb, but is this now it's going to end right behind the knit stitch, and we're all going to be left with just the main color. So that we'll be ready to do our two by one rib and cast off. color bind off row <laughs> basically done look how gorgeous this is coming together all right and, and there you have it i hope this tutorial on how you come brio stitch was helpful and if you haven't already i hope you'll consider checking out my thickest honey cow that you see here thanks so much catch you next time